Well, literally about 10 minutes ago, the Houston Rockets traded Chris Paul for Russell Westbrook. <sighs> okay, so guys, what's going on? It's Tyler here. In today's video, we're going to be rebuilding the Houston Rockets, or I guess not rebuilding, trying to contend. I don't know what you'd even call it, but the Russell Westbrook, James Harden rumors, I guess were true um and actually this happened so close to right now that we don't even have it in the custom roster yet so i actually have to trade turn trade override on and do the trade myself real quick trade finder no not trade finder uh because it'll never come up oh proposed trade player chris paul player russell westbrook okay so they're obviously not going to do it in a million years um, but I do need to give picks, let me see which picks it was. First round picks in 2024 and 2026 and swaps in 21 and 25. So we can't even do any of that. So we're just gonna forget the picks because we can't actually do any of those. But here we go, Russell Westbrook for Chris Paul and the Thunder have Chris Paul now, but more importantly, the Rockets have Russell Westbrook? What? Okay, this is crazy guys, all right. Wow. So our roster now is Westbrook, Harden, Gordon, PJ Tucker, Capella, Kenneth Fareed, Austin Rivers, Gerald Green, uh, Daniel House, Nene, Isaiah Hartenstein. Let me change some things up with this roster real quick. First of all, let's change Eric Gordon to a shooting guard because I believe that's his actual position. Oh, no, small forward is his best position. Okay. But let's change Fareed to a power forward because that makes him better. Uh, Austin Rivers to a shooting guard that makes him better. P.J. Tucker to a small forward, that makes him considerably better. Okay. So, we got Westbrook, Harden, Gordon, Fareed, Capella with P.J. Tucker, Austin Rivers, Gerald Green, Daniel House, Nene coming off the bench. Not a bad team, guys. I think we're just going to straight away simulate. I mean, there's really not any moves to make here. I want to see how this team plays with Westbrook and Harden because it's just crazy to me. I just can't even handle it. So let's go, Westbrook and Harden on the Rockets. Let's simulate and see what happens. All right guys, season's over and Russell Westbrook wins the MVP. Oh my God, what's happening right now? First he gets traded to the Rockets. Now he's already the MVP of the league in the Rockets uniform. 23 points, 10 rebounds, nine assists, two steals a game. Wow, okay, so MVP Westbrook, John Morant Rookie of the Year, Jabari Parker Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis DPOY, most improved goes to Josh Richardson and Doc Rivers gets the coach of the year. Okay, guys, crazy. Let's advance. Westbrook and Harden, All NBA first team. Nobody All NBA second team. Nobody All NBA third team for us. Bro, the team, the NBA is gonna be so crazy next year. Oh, actually, Chris Paul's All NBA third team. That's kind of interesting. So we went 62 and 20, and we were the second best team in the West. Somehow, the Clippers. Just kidding. I know how. Kawhi and Paul George. Duh. 66 and 16 in the West. <sighs> wow. It's crazy, guys. I can't even, this is just so weird. The West is, the West is gonna be completely flipped upside down next year. Um, so here we go, we're gonna see with playoffs. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna find out. And uh, we're gonna blow this team up. I obviously keep hard in Westbrook, but we're gonna blow the team up otherwise if we don't make it far. Here we go. Jazz with the first game. Oh, actually, okay, so the series is tied 1-1 so far. I didn't actually look at uh, player stats. I'm like so hyped up right now. So Harden actually put up better more points per game, 25.5, 4.5 rebounds, 8.4 assists, 1.7 steals. Westbrook with, with more all-around numbers, though. 23 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals. Capella, 15 points, 12 rebounds. Eric Gordon, 13 points, 3.8 assists. Kenneth Freed, 9 points, 9 rebounds, or 10 points, 10 rebounds. Austin Rivers, 9 points, uh, 3.2 assists. So, yeah, those are just role players from there on out, but wow. This could be quite the duo if things work out like they did in 2K. We'll find out next year. Here we go, though. The series is tied. Okay, 2-1. We're ahead 2-1. 3-1. And we beat the Jazz in five. Let's go. Playing the Lakers in round two. And luckily for us, somehow the... The Chris Paul, Shea Gildas Alexander, Danilo Gallinari, Steven Adams, Thunder beat the Clippers in round one, 8-1. Thunder were the 8th seed and they beat the Clippers with Paul George and Kawhi. Okay, I don't know about that one, but that'll make it a lot easier for us. 
if we get to the West Conference Finals. Here we go. Westbrook and Harden versus LeBron Anthony Davis in the same playoff game. Whew, it's going to be weird. Here we go. Okay, Lakers win the first one. Rockets win the second one. Lakers win the third one. Lakers win the fourth. Uh-oh. And we got eliminated. Okay. We've got some work to do with this team, guys. Sixers win the title. Ben Simmons, your finals MVP. All right, so... Um, draft lottery. Skip that. Staff signing. Um, I may try to get a better... Our trainer's good. I don't know about Mike D'Antoni, to be honest. I'd rather have someone that is a little better in terms of uh, defense. But I don't know who that would be. Um, maybe Jeff Van Gundy. He's a former Rockets coach. Let's bring Jeff in. Let's bring Jeff Van Gundy in. Let's fire Mike D'Antoni. Let's hire Jeff Van Gundy, even though he's a fake made-up Jeff Van Gundy. He's Jeff Van Gundy nonetheless. His offense is a little worse, but his defense is much better. And this team needs to play defense. So here we go. We got Jeff Van Gundy. And NBA draft time. We're just going to skip the NBA draft since technically the Rockets don't have any picks anyways, pretty much. So whatever. Skip that. Rookie signing. Who cares? Team player options. Hartenstein, Gary Clark, Moses Brown. I guess we'll keep all them. Just keep him for uh, trade assets. Qualifying offers have none. Free agency. All right. So it is time to uh, shake the team up a bit here. Trade finder. We have $82 million between Harden and Westbrook. So the only way for us to possibly make this team better is to uh, trade Capella, Tucker, Fareed, those guys. Because we, obviously we, we can't get rid of Harden and Westbrook. We can't sign anybody with how little cap space we have. Balanchunas and Crowder. Hero and Winslow. Malik and Zeller. See, we need to get a good center, but also some good pieces. Steve, ooh, Steve Adams and Shea Gilgis Alexander. But that leaves us with not enough. Like, you know, we need, we need to basically get somehow as good of players as we have here. Or the same positions, but better. Not going to happen. So what if we go just Capella? So what can we get for just Capella? All right. So I think I'm going to make this trade. PJ Tucker, Fareed, Austin Rivers for Emmanuel Moutier and, and Bojan Bogdanovich. I really want Bojan. And Moutier is a decent backup, Moutier. And they did it. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of Capella. I might end up keeping him. But if there's something available there that's good, why not? There's really no other big man available. I mean, DeAndre and Steven Adams. What's the point of Steven Adams, you know? Valanchunas and Jay Crowder wouldn't be bad. Valanchunas is only 28. We can give him training camps. So that will make him better. Jay Crowder would be a nice 3 and D player for us. Um, Michael Green and Patrick Beverly would also be really good. Honestly, I keep coming back to this crowder Valanchunas trade. I like this one so much. I'm going to have to do it. Capella, Daniel House, and first round pick for Valanchunas and Jay Crowder. So we just flipped this team all around. This team is not the same team we had before. Um, but you know what? I think this team's going to be a lot more balanced and be deeper. So let's go ahead and skip. We better be able to get those two guys. Be, suck. Sometimes you can't. Oh, we can't get Baysmore, really? No, so we didn't get Baysmore after all. That stinks. I guess we can try to bring Eric Gordon back. I don't know how he's. I don't know how I traded him, but now he's a free agent because that doesn't make any sense. But you know what? I didn't make the rules of the game. Seems like the roster might be a little messed up. We're gonna give him more than he wants just to bring him back. Eric Gordon signs. So we got Eric Gordon back. I don't know how I was able to trade him and then sign him back because I shouldn't be able to, to uh, trade him if he's a free agent. But it is what it is. We got him back. That's kind of cheese. So we got Westbrook and Moutier, Harden, Bogdanovich, Crowder, Gordon, Bielitsa, and Valanchunas, Nene. We're going to have to definitely make Nene a power forward. He might even be too old then. But, um, yeah, so we're definitely looking good here. We need to sign a power forward, though, if we can. And then we should be set. If I can get Rodney Magruder, too, why not? Tyson Chandler and Magruder. So we got a bit of a squad around this team now. Around Westbrook and George, that is. Or, ooh, Westbrook and George. I'm sorry, Thunder fans. Westbrook and Harden. 
Let's go to training camps and uh, see what we can do to improve this team even further. All right, training camps, here we go. I'm gonna give a untapped potential to Valanchunas. We definitely need him to get better. And he's still young enough that he can get better. And then I'm gonna give maybe an untapped potential to someone else. I'll give it to Moutier, because we definitely need him to get better. And then, no one else is really young enough. Ooh, Eric Gordon took a big step down. That sucks for us. Um, maybe I'll give untapped potential to Bojan Bogdanovic, make him better if I can, if that's possible. And let's go into next season, guys. So I really like this team a lot. I mean, look at this. Westbrook, Harden, Bogdanovich, Jay Crowder, Valanchunas, Emmanuel Moutier, Bielitsa, Magruder, Gordon, Tyson Chandler. Not a bad team. Kind of gets a little weak there towards the end. But uh, I think this team can do stuff and probably make it to the West Conference Finals. That's my prediction. All right, guys, season's over. Nikola Jokic wins MVP, LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year, Larry Nance Jr., Sixth Man of the Year, Anthony Davis, DPOY, John Morant, Most Improved, Terry Stotts, Coach of the Year for the Trailblazers, and this season is a totally 180, total 180 from last season. Uh, nobody on NBA first team. Uh, all NBA second team, James Harden. All NBA third team, Russell Westbrook. Uh, yeah, and that's basically where the good things end. All defensive second team, Russell Westbrook. But we went 49 and 33. We are the seventh seed in the West. Uh, this team didn't play as good as I thought they would. I thought that having, uh, you know, like a better, better supporting cast. Like I thought Bogdanovich, Bielitsa, Valanciunas, Jay Crowder, Moutier would be better than basically Capella, Eric Gordon, and PJ Tucker, and Austin Rivers. And on paper they would be, but for some reason they weren't. I don't know why. Maybe this is one of those situations where the team doesn't find their stride till they hit the playoffs and we just slice through everybody in the playoffs. Let's see. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. So let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs. Here we go. About to play Trailblazers. Let's check out stats real quick before we do that, though. Um, James Harden, 24.3 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, 8.3 assists. Paul, or Paul George. Russell Westbrook, 19.5 points, 8.3 rebounds, 6.6 .6 assists. A big tell-off for him. Uh, Bogdanovich, 13.7 points, 2 rebounds a game. Balanchunas, 12, 12 points, uh, 9.6 rebounds. Moutier, 12.6 points, 4 point, or just 4 assists. Dre Crowder, Dre Crowder, 9.6 uh, 9 points, 5.5 uh, rebounds. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Not as not the team I thought they'd be, but let's go ahead and see the playoffs. Maybe we'll be fine. About to play the Trailblazers, who had coach of the year. We win the first one. We win the second. Oh, Trailblazers win the third. We win the fourth. Trailblazers win the fifth. And we beat the Trailblazers in six games. Just out of curiosity, I wonder who the uh, Lakers have on their team here. Bradley, James, Kuzma, Davis, Rondo. Basically the same team. Uh, yeah, same team basically without Boogie Cousins. So they're the first seed this year. I don't know exactly how that happened. Ooh, it's Lakers versus Pelicans. I just realized that. I wonder who wins this. Lakers won. That's sad. Okay, so here we go. About to play the Nuggets in round two. Let's simulate playoffs. They were a better team than us, but I think we can win this. Here we go. Nuggets win the first one. Nuggets win the second. Rockets win the third. Nuggets win the fourth. Ah, oh, let's go to Simcast. I don't want to get eliminated. Come on. Oh, bro. The Nuggets get a huge lead to start. Look at that. That's crazy. Ooh, Rockets making the comeback, though. Look at that. Ah, uh, this is neck and neck going in the fourth quarter. Come on. Harden Westbrook. Come on! Overtime. Oh, my God. I gotta play this. I gotta play overtime. How do I, I, can't, I can't just sit here and watch overtime. I gotta play it. All right, okay. We're shooting free throws with Harden. Oh, it's double overtime. Okay, I didn't realize that. Made it with Harden, okay. Four point game, two minutes left. Or don't tell me Westbrook fouled out. Okay, we're good. Bringing Westbrook in the next whistle. Keep this man up, Murray, with Moutier. Harden on Harris. Nope. Good D, good D. Stay on Harris, stay on Harris. Oh, he's not making that. Wow, that was a splash. Okay. Not good. Put the ball to Harden. Let's get a screen from Bogdanovich. Valanchunas, hit this three. He missed it. Oh, rebound from Harden. Back up. Ah, 
I was hoping for the end one there, but we got free throws. And I've, and I've gotten, he has 10 points, and I've gotten three of them with free throws in double overtime. So Harden is completely choked. First off, hold on, let's look at the box score. How does he only have 10 points in double overtime? Westbrook has 30 points. Where's, where's Harden at? Am I, am I blind? Two of eight? That's all he's done is shot two of eight? I mean, he hasn't even barely shot the ball. Valentunas has 17 shot attempts. Westbrook has 26. Wow, okay, yeah, that's weird. Whatever. All right, D up Gary Harris. No. Nope. No. Aw, oh, bro, Paul Millsap free throw? Are you kidding me? How are you going to Paul Millsap free throw? But Westbrook's in. Westbrook's been the man this game, apparently, so let's drive to the basket, Westbrook. Pull it back. Go back around. All the way, Westbrook. He missed it. Stop them. Oh, I was trying to play a passing lane there. No! Oh, my God. All right, well, not looking good. Uh, we need a three-pointer badly here. The screen from Valanchunas. I got to shoot a three here. There's no other way around it. And that's a brick. Well, it looks like we're going to be going into a third season of this rebuild. I just went and ate dinner. Thought about this team. I've come to the conclusion. I have no clue how I'm going to get them to the finals this next season. So let's make it up as we go along. The Warriors won the finals. Not looking good for us out here. <clears throat> I either have two options. One, I either run this exact roster back with maybe a couple better like minimum players, like someone better than uh, Eric Gordon and Tyson Chandler, or I try to blow it up one more time. So we're at moratorium, and actually, I believe uh, Valanciunas is a free agent, or maybe not. Let's look at the salary cap table. Cap holds, he's not. Did he opt in? Did I miss something? Valanchunas, he, let's see, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. So we have Valanchunas first, so we can trade Valanchunas if we want to here. Um, so maybe we look for trades. Valanchunas and Moutier, can we move them? Yo, we could get Chris Middleton. That's not gonna be worth it because we wouldn't have a center, but that'd be amazing. Otto Porter and Fred Van Vliet, Marcus Martin and his canter. Montrez Harrell, Clint Capella. Oh, bro, that'd be amazing if we got Clint Capella back and got Jordan Clarkson. I might think about that. Beverly and Gasol. Let me just skip through it here. Gordon and Fournier definitely would not be bad. Um, I wonder if we can get... Ooh, Blake Griffin. I wonder if we can get another big man without giving... Let's go Moutier and Crowder. What can we get for these two? Al Horford, Bogdan, and Kenneth Fareed, Porter, Van Vliet, Montrez, and Zubach. Ooh, I like that, but there's no way I can give up a point guard and a small forward for two centers. If I can get a big man to pair next to Valentunas, it might not be that bad. Favors and Jackson Hayes. I could do this. <clears throat> Start Jackson Hayes at center. Uh... Valanciunas at power forward, flip Derek Favors for something. Okay, I'm gonna try to go all out right now. Maybe controversial. Crowder, Moutier, I'm sorry. I have to trade you guys. For Favors and Jackson Hayes, and then I'm gonna turn around. Let's uh, go to roster here. I'm gonna play Valanciunas at power forward. I'm gonna play Let's see, what if we move Favors and Hayes to power forward? It's going to make them all better overall wise for sure, 100%. It just depends on what I want to do. So I'm going to try to trade Favors now. Uh, favors, what can we get for Favors? If we can get a couple good decent backups like a point guard and a small forward or a shooting guard, that would be nice. It's looking like, okay, DeLon Wright, Markeith Morris and Noah Vonley. Will Barton, Brooke Lopez and JJ Berea, Norman Powell, Karis Levert. Ooh, that'd be nice. Think about doing this DeLon Wright and Kendrick Williams trade. That'd give us de depth at the positions we need it. I'm just going to do this one, guys. 
Let's go with that one. So we just trade favors to the Mavericks. We got DeLon Wright and Kendrick Williams. So we locked down Bielitsa. Now let's get us a good center. If we could get Ed Davis and John Henson, that would be ideal. I'm going to try that. John Henson first. All right, time for training camps. We're going to go ahead and give uh, untapped potential to DeLon Wright. That should allow him to get a little bit better than a 79. Untapped potential to Kendrick Williams. Same deal for him. I'll give conditioning to John Henson. He's kind of a thick boy, so he needs it. So I made some free agency pickups. There's actually some really good players still left. So we're going Westbrook Harden, Bogdanovich, Valanciunas, Jackson Hayes, John Henson, DeLon Wright, Kendrick Williams, Ryan Brokoff, and JaVale McGee. And we still have Jeremy Lin, Bullock, and Bielitsa. They're probably not going to get many, if, uh, if any, minutes. But I'm going to go, I think, pick and roll offense this time. Everything's going to stay the same. This is my last shot, guys. I don't know if we're going to make it, but I'm definitely, I'm trying hard here to make Westbrook and Harden winners. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, the final season's over. Ben Simmons wins MVP. Nico Mannion, Rookie of the Year. Brandon Clark, Sixth Man of the Year. Um, Anthony Davis, DPOY. Michael Porter Jr., Most Improved. Brett Brown, Coach of the Year. Nobody on NBA First Team. Uh, nobody all NBA second team, just James Harden all NBA third team. So Russell Westbrook has fallen off. Um, and then all defensive first team, nobody all defensive second team, nobody. You know damn well James Harden ain't making all NBA de defense. Um, so we were the first seed in the Western Conference, 56 and 26, and the top team was the Sixers uh, in the East, 59 and 23. Nobody even hit 60 wins this year, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so we, I think, have a pretty good team. 56 and 26. Obviously, the first season, we had 62 wins. The last season, we had 49. So we're, like, right in the middle of those two uh, player stats. Harden, 26.6 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, 8.7 assists, 1.8 steals. Uh, Westbrook, 16.9 points, 6.9 rebounds. Eight assists per game. Essentially, us having all this other talent made Westbrook's numbers go down. Harden's just went up. So, yeah, take that for what you will. Um, take that for what it is. Valanciunas, 14.3 points, 8.9 rebounds. Jackson Hayes, 12 points, 6.1 rebounds. Bogdanovich, 11.2 points. Uh, Kendrick Williams, 9.1 points. DeLon Wright, 8.9 points. John Henson, 7.5. Broke off 5.3. So, we have a decent team here. Pretty, pretty stacked. A better team than last year. Pretty talented. We'll see how it goes. Let's simulate, guys. <laughs> uh, Westbrook and Harden together. It's just weird. Okay, here we go. If we can't make it this time, I don't know what to tell you. Phoenix won the first game. Phoenix won the second game. Phoenix wins the third game. We just lost to the eighth seed as the first seed. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I I have no words. This team does not play good together. They suck together. That's the only thing I can say. Um, well, I mean, good luck, Rockets fans. Your team ain't going anywhere, according to NBA 2K. Now, that could all change. But, yeah, this rebuild did not go how I wanted it. I tried very hard to build a winner here between Westbrook and Harden. It didn't happen. Not even in the slightest. So... It is what it is. Let's see who wins the finals here. My money's on the Blazers. Sixers, Blazers, Blazers, Blazers. Blazers win the finals. Damian Lillard, your finals MVP. <sighs> well, that's it, guys. That's the rebuild. If you guys enjoyed the rebuild, make sure you give it a like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Rockets fans, I'm sorry, but you guys aren't winning nothing. Talk to you next one, though. I love you.